Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time I finally got off of Habitat 7 and I made it way. to the Nexus here, which I think is going to be like this game's version of the Citadel. So I'm really eager to look around and explore, so let's do it. Oh, there they are, Liam and Cora running ahead. They, they're not, oh look, they, they, they turn around and they wait for me at least, but um, they're, they're definitely Maybe leading the way. To secure all connections from the Ark to the Nexus. What's the priority? Start running power and data links first, then move to secondary comm traffic. Got it. I'll follow up with their engineers later. Cool. <laughs> Everyone's working hard. The, the, we're having... Gosh, we're having problems everywhere, aren't we? Alright, well, nothing really to see here. I like... Okay, hold on. I just gotta point this out. I love how the floor isn't perfect. I know this is such a goofy thing to admire, but like you can see some of the scuffs on the floor. Like I feel like I I feel like I've been here. <laughs> I feel like we've all seen those sad floors with like someone's shoes marked on them and they're scuffed up. I just I like how they're not shiny and perfect because they in reality they wouldn't look shiny and perfect. They'd be totally scuffed up just as they are. I, I, I like that. I, th I can appreciate that level of detail. I really can. Uh-oh. Someone's paperwork got burned. Fire trouble. Yikes. Alright, a door I can't go through. And here's my friends. They're, they're still trying to show me the way here. I guess I just follow Captain them. Captain wants to see a full duty roster. I just updated the charts. She'll want to see crew reassignments first. Start with non-essential personnel. <laughs> I like how the uh, the ambient banter is like boring nonsense that no one would ever care about because that's really the kind of conversations people have. You don't just, uh, you know, you don't usually just kind of, hey, what are you guys talking about? You know, it, 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 you know, it's usually not something, hey, I heard there's do 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 do. You usually come up into a conversation in, in the middle of and you have no idea what's going on, right? Omni Blade. Ooh, ooh, that sounds pretty handy dandy. Alright, um, well, nothing going on over here, but it does seem like I want to get awful close to any potential goodies because the container icon doesn't come up unless you're pretty close. It's kind of what it seems like anyway. Wow, these panels are just so... T I know I'm, I'm being ridiculous right now, but I'm really admiring the detail. Look at all the, like, scratches and stuff. Might be a little too scratchy, though. Looks a little too old and janky. I don't feel safe on this. Okay, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know that docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep. And we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? <laughs> right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. Jeez. Well, that's going to hit Ryder in the feels doubly so. Her father just passed, and then her brother is still dealing with, uh, you know, coming out of stasis himself. Yikes, not a conversation I'd want to walk up into, but I, I, I like how, mund well, it's not mundane, but it sounds like a real conversation. It really does. Like, there's people that have to do this. It's not a, a fun job. Doing paperwork is always a, a chore, but... Is that a robo cleaner? There's a robo cleaner. They've got a little robo cleaner. Where'd it go? Did you guys see it? It was right there. It was right there. There was a little ro there it is. Look at it. Look, there goes a little robo vacuum. Woo, robo vacuum. 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm having way too much fun looking at all the all the little itty bitty stupid things here, but um gosh, I guess I don't really have to notify any next of kin because next of kin died seven hundred years ago. Alright, uh onward this way, I suppose. Alrighty, um just gonna keep yep, here we go. Alright, tram console. You ready, buddy? You ready, lady? Alright, let's do it! <laughs> oh man, I'm really excited to get- It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. Uh-huh. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? <laughs> Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Mm -mm. Uh-oh, I think we all sound a little too hopeful. I think we're gonna get to the Nexus and things aren't gonna be what they Here seem. Here we are. <sighs> getting worried, getting stressed, feeling a little stressy, I'm not gonna lie, feeling stressed. It's as lo- Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Oh, no. It's dark, and and the quest objective says the locate. Well, this can't be right. Personnel. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, <laughs> they're doing an awfully good job of it. I don't think it's a surprise party. All right, I see uh, a Vina. <laughs> we could see what the VI has to say. Yeah. No. This isn't. Plants are still alive. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Well, it's kind of like the Citadel. It's like they didn't finish building it. Like the Citadel at the end of the third game. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Avina. It's been a while. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh -huh. uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? <laughs> I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Ah, jeez. VIs, man. Get with the times. It's all about those AIs now. Alright, well, the easiest way to see if something is wrong is find out if the computer's got the right year. What year is it? What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. <laughs> Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, <laughs> at least. So where is everyone? Alright, so the date is right. That means the computer components might be okay, which is actually kind of bad because where's the crew? The computer nothing's wrong with the computers or the machinery, so where's the crew? Aliens? I don't know. Indoctrination? <laughs> okay, so what do I even ask? Okay, um <laughs> immigration. Hell yeah, how do we immigrate to Andromeda? <laughs> how does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. <laughs> yeah, seriously, wh where are you guys going to be making your new home at? It's not going to be uh, anywhere here. All right, um, living arrangements. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Uh -huh. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, <laughs> the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. <laughs> Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. 
<laughs> you wanna go reprogram her, buddy? I don't know, give it another 600 years. Maybe it'll turn back into a tropical paradise. Okay, tell me about this, uh, this forsaken galaxy. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. Right on. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. Mm -hmm. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. My gosh. What a scary thought. Waking up to this and finding a home to, like, even if, even if everything were working as planned, it's still scary. It's even scarier that it's not working as planned. Alright, well, the big question. What's going on here? What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Uh-huh. Not from the looks of it. <laughs> I agree with you on that one, Cora, my dear. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. Yeah, and welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. <laughs> right. That was helpful. That was creepy unknown error. I was waiting for it. Okay. This place should be packed with people. Can I scan her? Let's see. Scan complete hol virtual intelligence kiosk. Holographic systems interface. This is a standard virtual intelligence interface designed for ease of use in relaying important information. Yeah, I can see. Huh. So, what we see that nothing was really quite finished in here. We've got a lot of, like, scaffolding and um, boxes. Oh, what, what's, what do we have here? A uh, terrarium, data hydroponics equipment. <laughs> hydroponics. This terrarium is designed for use in hydroponics and cultivation of a plant life in the Nexus, which is essential to humanity prospering. Can I check this out? Yeah, see, look, this looks like it's going to be a, a shop or something, maybe, someday, or maybe it was supposed to be a shop, and someday, eh, 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 I almost missed that, how sneaky, ooh, lots of Omni-gel, thank you for the Omni-gel, but see, that's what I mean, they put these containers in really sneaky spots, and then you can't really, um, tell if they're lootable until you're right up on them. This looks like the site of maybe another store or something. And we've got like a, a fuse box there. More terrariums. Can't really do anything with any of this. Uh, medical stuff. Terminal. Computer terminal. This is a standard Nexus computer terminal designed to interface with a wide variety of systems. Oh, okay, I see. Got your standard 1990s keyboard by, like, IBM or whatever. <laughs> Alright. I, I, is there something else? It, the, is there something else to scan? Oh! What's that there? Supply crate, standard supply crate. Uh, contents include hydroponic sensors for the growth and cultivation of life. Alright. Um, I, oh! 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 Oh no! There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Okay. One guy, that's... is he human? <laughs> Let's talk to that worker. Hold on, let me scan him first. He he could he should have heard us talking over there. He he should. Why don't we just ask that guy? Because he should he would be talking to us if he noticed us. Something's wrong with him. 
I don't know if he's moving, he's alive! A hundred percent human! This is likely a member of the Nexus support crew and currently engaged in electrical repairs. Oh gosh, something about this isn't as it seems. It's an alien! It's an alien! I'm gonna- oh, I can't get my gun out. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Uh-oh. Did he hear you? What's... Did you say an Arc? Uh, is that a problem? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. What? I don't believe it. <gasps> oh, Turian, hi! I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Uh, we're definitely here, you know, I need, why, what's, I'm so confused, what's going on? But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. What? After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. What? You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Oh, no. Something... Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. You, you're telling me. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. What? A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. Oh, no. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, what? we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Oh, hold on, hold on, I can't, oh man. I gotta take all this and I just, I, I, had to, I have to put my head on my hands and put my, put my elbows on the desk and just really soak all this in. What happened? Oh no, oh no, so not only am I going to be dealing with hostile aliens, but there is going to be exiles? Why? We're supposed to be working together, why is everyone being stupid? I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta find out, I gotta get to the bottom of all this. This is nuts! No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. No kidding. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. I started it. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. Uh-oh. This day just keeps getting... We're here. <sighs> you guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Oh. Is Sounds it true? Familiar. They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. Oh, a Krogan. And a Salarian. Cool. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. Don't. Hey, come back. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Wait, you don't sound like any Solarian I've heard before. What happened to the... What happened to... Like, man... Okay, I, I understand it's Andromeda, and these people have been far away from the Milky Way for a long time, but I do kind... You know, the, the, the Asari didn't quite sound like an Asari. The Turian doesn't quite quite sound like a Turian, and now the Salarian, he just, he talks normal, I'm just, no, you should be like, I'm Darren Tan, director of the initiative, you have no idea what your arrival means to us, like, come on, where's the Salarianness to you, act like one, 
All right, we're here to assist. No, I, I'm not here to assist anything. This is y'all's job. It means more to us. No, I don't like any of these answers. Where's my... What the hell's going on? I, I, I want to... What the hell is going on? Tell me everything. Stop alluding to things. Stop beating around the bush. Tell me exactly what had happened. Give me a timeline. I need a PowerPoint explanation. It means more to us. Um, so whatever. Yeah, it means more to us. Sure. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Yeah. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. <laughs> this is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You look You're at looking her. at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other arcs. None of them. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. Oh, no. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Uh, no. How about we all go and cryo for another 600 years, turn this around, and go back to the Milky Way. I say let's do that. Uh, I'm ready. My dad knew best. Let's hope so. You don't have a choice. Oh, jeez. I don't really like any of these dialogue choices here. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared in the least. Uh, you know what? You don't have a choice. <laughs> You're in trouble here. I'd say you need any help you can get. We need qualified help. Okay, do it yourself. That's no way to treat a guest. Uh... Uh, I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, why don't you get going? Uh, We're so all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. What? I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the Nexus. Uh, I'm so... C yeah, really, it's, it's a mess. Like... They, they just threw all this at me. By the way, you're the Pathfinder. You need to find us a golden world. Uh, thanks, bye. They just dumped it on me and walked off saying, hey, can you step into my uh, my office? Like, this none of this has gone the way I've expected. I was expecting a bustling city prepared to receive me. And I thought it would be really great. I thought I would be exploring a city, meeting new people, getting side quests. You know, everyone cheering me on for my promotion, but I'm just getting yelled at, and now everyone's telling me that uh, the Golden World thing was a, a... There's no Golden World! Like, what do you mean there's no Golden Worlds? They can't all suck. Like, nothing's going to be paradise, but there's gotta be, like, a honk of livable land somewhere. Come on. Alright, it's a mess. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. Oh, that's a female Krogan? <laughs> they... An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Really? You're welcome, guys. And when the power runs out, You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Huh. Okay, will do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so I'm kind of confused about the... Hey, look, where's that chat? The Hyperion is starting to send Italian supplies. Handling something big, is she? I'll just organize this as it comes in and send it your way. 
Hello, Consul. You know what the priority needs you and I are, are going anyway. To be very good Thank friends. you. We'll get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. Okay, let me look at the journal here. It keeps telling me to. All right, select a mission and press space to track that mission and make it show as your little hexagon thingy on your compass. The most critical missions are found under priority ops. The Hyper and here we are right now, I guess. The Hyperion has docked the Nexus, the support hub for Andromeda initiative teams. Speak with Director Tan in Pathfinder headquarters, and uh, those are the parts that I've already done. Thank you, I managed to figure this out all by myself actually already. And I've got some additional tasks. Getting to know the Nexus. Here we go. Alright, select a mission and press space. Here, I'll make... Oh, okay, there we go. That's my that's my, my active one. The Nexus has many moving parts and departments. To get a full lay of the land, get to know the various leaders and important personnel stationed there. Now, see, this is more what I thought I was going to be doing, except, you know... <laughs> under different circumstances, but okay, I am okay. Kesh, I am. I'm. I'm. Con I'm confused about the Krogan female, um, just because. All right, so the arcs left somewhere between Mass Effect Two and Mass Effect Three, so the whole genophage thing hadn't really been dealt with. I can't imagine that a female Krogan was that was on board well I mean I don't know I'm just a little confused by the presence of a female Krogan not that I'm disappointed or anything believe me I love it but just uh, I, I, at first I was confused by the voice because it's like is that a female or is this uh, this a little bit of a fancy kind of <laughs> Krogan with a funny voice or something but no it's uh, well, I should, should quit <gasps> do you guys see that can I oh <gasps> I can save. <gasps> we hook you up to I just, I, I, I just saved for the first time. I need a moment. I'm really excited about that. I haven't gotten to save at all yet because I've always been in the middle of a of a priority mission. At one, for once, I don't have a priority mission. I guess. All right. Well, let me. Well, while I'm getting a lay of the land. All right. The people I need to talk to are all more or less in this area, so can't really screw it up. I guess. Oh look. Oh, there's a. Oh wow. Okay, okay, I'm I'm seeing that this place might be pretty big, but, um, alright, why don't I get out of this, and let me listen to what these people have to say, can I talk to you at all, no, nothing going on over here, no, no, not at all, alright, okay, this is Nexus Control to Hyperion, no, it's good it to have you what here, we wanted, but what choice do we have? Excellent. How the Let's hell should the I own? Checklist, shall we? Spender, you have a job, if you want to keep it, do it. Damn it. There's way too much going on here. Let me just talk to her. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Oh, your face is tired. Oh. Oh, you poor baby. Let, 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 let me just pat your face because your face is tired. Let's see, do you want to know what I just dealt with? Let's see, I've had some bonehead aliens shooting at me. And I, oh, 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 let's back up a little bit, actually. First of all, I got woken up from cryo, find out my brother can't wake up. We get pulled onto this weird planet after this horrible electrical, st or this dark energy thing, crash onto a planet, crack my helmet, shoot my way through a bunch of boneheaded aliens to find all my friends, see people get killed right in front of me, you know, go through hell to turn off this lightning storm thing so we can get off the planet and my father dies in the process. And, and your face is tired and you just want to know what happened with Alec. 
and you want to give me attitude. Like, and like, why are both of these my response? He wanted me to be Pathfinder. All that matters is he's gone. No, no, where's my, you know what? Screw you and screw the ship you came in here on. I'm going to take my electricity and my food and my people. I'm going to get back on Ark Hyperion and blast off to Narnia because fuck you, lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so tired of people being mean to me in a video game for no reason. I'm t I'm standing. I'm yelling at her. I'm I'm standing up for myself. All that I'm just gonna be as mean as I can. I don't know. She just wants to know what happened with Alec. You know what? It doesn't. You don't get to know. You don't get to know. I don't want to get into it. Yeah. Things went wrong, and now I'm the one you have to deal with. Yeah. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. And maybe... After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Well, maybe you can just sit here until you starve to death being a bitter old bitch because you decided to be hateful to your last chance. When I find the golden world, guess who's going to be the last person to know about it? You! I'll be going because I don't even want to talk to your ass. Okay, fine, I'll talk to her. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna enjoy it. And I'm gonna be grumpy the whole time. All right. Yeah. What, what, what's your obsession with my dad anyway? Get up off of it. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Mm -hmm. Were you friends or? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title, but no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Hmm. Well, I, I, I can get behind that, maybe, but it's still incredibly disrespectful. And if you, you're so ornery about this whole thing, then why did you sign up for it? Like, if you're this high strung, then maybe you should have known that things weren't going to go perfectly. Nothing ever goes perfectly in life. And you, you expected this to go perfectly, and now you're throwing a bitch fit because it didn't. I mean, I understand you had a rough 14 months. Baby, I had a rough couple of days, okay? All the suffering you've done in 14 months, I've done in two days plus some. Shut up. Alright, so, um, hmm. Colonial director, since we're talking about, uh, titles. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Hmm. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. Well, let's uh, make sure your influence stays at a min minimal, you hateful old hag. All right, so what's the plan for the hostiles, since you, you have nothing else to do besides sit here and complain and think of things all day? I'm sure you've got a fantastic plan in place. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. That's... Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You call that poetry? My gosh, I've written better poetry. W uh, that's never mind. That's that's bad. I'm pretty sure I did better poetry in seventh grade. Uh, l l let's leave it at that, dude. 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 Y y y Fourteen months of idling doesn't resor resort to you talking in poetry. You should have been thinking of maybe if you were thinking of plans instead of writing bad poetry on your head. You are the most unproductive, useless person on the planet. What do you think about that? You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Thank you, Ryder. Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. 
not headed by Tan, or even me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't want you heading anything ever. I want you heading out the door. That's about it. I'm a bounce because I don't like you. Excuse me, Director Addison. Yeah, excuse Ryder? me. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Yeah. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. You don't trust me because I haven't given you a freaking Twinkie? Like, what are you on about? I don't like you. Like, what's the deal with people being needlessly hateful for no reason? Like, I'm really annoyed. I really genuinely am very annoyed after talking with her. I mean, she, I understand that she's got a really, she's in a bad situation, but Jesus, she's so hateful. I'm real. like, I've, I've, I've got my eyebrows furrowed and everything. I'm so annoyed. Okay. This is a nightmare. What? This is a night. Oh wow, a female Turian too. See, the, what am I going to do? The females don't have as much um, head fringe as the males, which is kind of cool in a, in a way. The fringe. What is, am I going to do? The fringe is kind of like their hair, so it's it's weird for the the female ones to have like shorter hair, so to say, than the men. She this looks is a nightmare. Cool. All right, she's she's stressing over something. What are you stressing over? It's not right. It's not fair. What? What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Uh-oh. Okay, so people are being ex- like... Uh, you know, I guess it's something to think of, and you know, you've got over 20,000 people, you're, you're not going to have everyone always necessarily getting along and playing nice, but it seems like they would have done a background check and make sure that everyone they got was, um, I don't know, I guess they just did the best that they could, but, so the, I guess people that are breaking the law, you know, no prison, no jail time, just exile, but what's the crime, what was going on? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Oh. Well, maybe this bunch would. Oh. They say it's murder. Oh. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Am I allowed to speak with him? Um, of course, there may not be time. Well, how complicit are you in it? You're the, you're the like, wife or whatever, right? Uh, of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Oh, okay. Please, tell Milken I love him. All right. I'll, I'll do that. First murderer out in Andromeda. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that uh, story there. Just saying. Alright, I've got a data pad. Here we go. Hmm. Apex status. Lieutenant. Based on status report 16C, it seems we're no longer, er, no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without recent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved and continued loss of resources and lives makes it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Kandros, man, it hasn't been easy for them, has it? Not by a long shot. Alright, strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. What? Okay, I guess let's talk to this fella. That's the console for our strike teams. Yeah, thanks. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Dispatch them for, yeah, for what? What situations should they handle? 
protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Oh, wait. Well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't have any outpost. You're, you're jumping the gun here. What outpost do we have anyway? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? Aww. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Oh, he, he, you know, I like him, right? I, you know, this is what's cool, because, like, um, you know, I, I still remember when I first started the first Mass Effect, I'm like, oh, these Turian dudes are jerks. And it's like, you know, of course, Garrus changes how, how I felt about that, or changed how I felt about that. And this Kandros guy, he's about the nicest person I've talked to other than the female Krogan. And, of course, the most hateful person's been a fellow human, go figure. Oi, oi, oi. Well, hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about the, the kit. Uh, I've been calling them the Boneheads, so it's good to finally have a name for them after so long. Tell me more about the kit. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. Oh. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Oh. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Yikes. Okay, so there's no talking to or reasoning with with this enemy, which, I mean... You know, remember there was that little cutscene after, um... Last time, after we, uh, 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 shut down that tower, so... The Ket, they want something from us. I feel like they probably want our technology, maybe? But, um, you know, there's no way for either of groups of people to communicate, so... You kind of can't, uh, you know, you can't blame their hostility, but um, they're definitely interested in those alien ruins. Two, a well, actually more than two, but, you know, Milky Way aliens, Andromeda aliens, looking at alien stuff. Aliens everywhere. It's aliens all the way down. All right, uh, coming to Andromeda. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. <laughs> the good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Nyrene, I was wondering. His name seemed kind of, oh, familiar. Oh my gosh, I was, I was trying to place it. Nyrene, the female Turian from the Omega DLC. How cool. That's, um, that's the brother right here. My gosh. That's hard to believe that he left so much family behind. They're all gone now. It's been 600 years. They're all gone. All right, your role. What are you doing? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Yeah, I guess, um, what is it? Obstacles create opportunities? <laughs> all right, uh, Turian welfare. How are the Turians? Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. 
fair enough, man. And, you know, of the fighters I want right after Krogan's, I'd like to have some Turians on my side. All right, the militia's uses. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But that isn't news to you, right? Wow, well, too bad you guys weren't around for Habitat 7. And goodbye! Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. So, can I... I guess there's no real use for... Oh, okay, I can... S oh, okay, hold on. Let's read this here. Alright, Apex mission. Select to complete... What? To complete in multiplayer or to assign a strike team? Okay, I'm not doing any multiplayer stuff. I'm not into that. Alright, strike teams. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn experience and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll earn a only a small amount of experience and no reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and handle critical missions. Select a mission and press space to send your Apex, okay? Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. Ugh. If you or you will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for writer and additional bonuses. Oh, okay, so this is like a like an online kind of I, I, I don't really understand it. Um uh but I can't even exit. Um, strike teams mission. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that was the missions list. This is strike teams. Uh, this is okay. This is like some online stuff. I, I don't really care about that. If that's, I don't know if that's if that's just online. But I that I don't really care for. I don't care for anything like that if it's just like online stuff. Not sure if that's really for me. Sorry guys, I, I don't know about that. I, I might go check it out off camera and see if it's particularly exciting or anything. Alright, um... Oh, I don't know if I, any of these people have anything exciting to say. Uh, oh, an inform- oh hey, here's this information wall again. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. Oh. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. But it hasn't. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. There's no new Look colonies. around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Okay, where Founder are you? Founder Garson's office is located at Workspace Not Allocated. Please select a topic. <laughs> This is so janky, I love it. Alright, what's the status of the Nexus? Integration now? from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Okay, okay, cool, cool. This is fun. Alright, uh, viability status. Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. We found the viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. Uh -huh. At risk. Uh -huh. that, that's, uh, you, you talk to the people around here, you'd have me believe in otherwise. All right, selection process? The selection process saw the Andromeda wow. Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates <laughs> for Golden Worlds, yeah, right. the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. That worked out really Even well. at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Apparently. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to <laughs> yep. start our new lives in Andromeda. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, sure, yep. Mm -hmm. Worked out swimmingly. You are Employee Rider, Salary Code 19B, Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Oh, okay. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Oh. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful <laughs> colony you'll vacation on while you wait? 
gosh, I'm not getting enough hazard pay for this. Like, salary, what did it say, like 19B? That sounds like the ass end of the ladder there. <laughs> All right, staff director. For initiative strategy and pathfinder coordination, please see director Jaron Tan. Okay, that's... For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. All right, off I go. That was kind of fun to listen to. Well, the, some of it was new, but uh, listening to some of that about the Golden Worlds after knowing what I know now, it's like, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, sure, yeah, uh -huh, all right, gotcha. This is the planet where we landed, Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder. We were discussing your next expedition. Oh boy, my next expedition. I meant to go talk to the other person first. I was just following my little hexagons on the map, but I'm guessing I'll get another opportunity to talk to everyone and keep looking around the Nexus. All right, so about time. <laughs> Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Yeah. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules ours. I like that. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Hmm. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. Wait, 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 wait. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Okay, so you you guys are r running out of supplies, like, pretty seriously. Look at this face, would you? <laughs> right? I made a kind of a goofy, really goofy looking writer. Well, she's no supermodel, let's put it that way. <laughs> Especially with that face. I gotta put my hand over it, I can't talk with her. I just can't. It's supposed to be serious, but she just, she, she's just so mad, and she just staring into my soul super mad super salty i look like this most days by the way anyway okay okay so why why do we want to i don't understand why we want to colonize so many worlds i really don't why not just one i mean i'm guessing we need different resources and only some are available on some planets but with as few supplies as we have and the fact that nothing has gone right why don't we just start with uno and see how it goes give it a few centuries things work out then we'll think about another planet like this seems really foolhardy and you know placing what, what's this placing bets on people if so, you're placing you've got people that are running out of supplies you're literally going to die this place is going to be your coffin and you're going to sit here and jerk me around I'm sorry don't play games with me the way I see it you need me if I pull this off maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be thank you but first you have to succeed at being the pathfinder you pretend to be I ain't pretending to be anything I was where's my ship <laughs> They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> uh, oh no. Not now. Not Something now. wrong? Not now. Not now. Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. Oh no. No. I'm fine. Now see, I'm not liking this, um computer chip in my head here. I knew this was going to get all wacky and crazy. 
Okay, so I can still talk to him because see my my second objective. Oh jeez, a better beginning. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Okay, the Nexus needs a resource-producing outpost, but Eos is the only planet in range. As the only Pathfinder, you have been asked to achieve the impossible. Find a way to settle Eos and give the initiative the foothold it needs. Director Tan has committed the resources for a last-ditch effort, including a ship and support team for the Pathfinder. Okay, okay, you know, I gotta stop being so hateful, but, you know, people need to stop putting pressure on me. I, I'm dealing with a lot right now, and I, I, I mean, I don't, I mean, I understand it's my job. You have to understand I was thrown into this position. I'm not ready for it, and you, you, you gotta, you gotta calm down, man. You gotta calm down. Alright, guys, well, why don't I go ahead and be done with Mass Effect Andromeda for now, and um, you know, uh, next time I'm gonna finish walking around the Nexus. I've still got a lot of people I need to meet and that I need to talk to, so I'm of course going to finish talking with everybody. But uh, I gotta That's find out what's going on with Sam in my head. That was that was strange. I'm uh, not really liking the AI in my head, especially if it's going to interrupt me during conversations. Don't think I really like sharing my body with an AI, but he's got a confidential matter. I'm excited to see what he has to say. It sounds pretty serious. So, uh, yeah, let's find out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Mass Effect Andromeda today. Made it to the Nexus wasn't quite what I expected, but I do plan on finishing exploring it next time. Thanks again guys for watching, and bye for now.